Hi everybody, my name is Jo with Jo Wise Leadership and today we're going to have a bit of a talk about acknowledgements or as we normally call in the real world with real people, um, compliments. So Facebook's just going to go off and do its little thing um, while I don't even have another computer to share this with today because interestingly enough we've been having a bit of trouble with our Wi-Fi and today last night I tried to set up the new modem and today nothing's working so thank goodness for phones <laughs> so that's um, that's pretty fun today I have to get that sorted got some planes going over um, Facebook's just building an audience so we won't be a sec beautiful sunny day in Melbourne today it's so lovely I went for a walk to the lakes this morning and there were birds everywhere and yeah it was beautiful all right, well look, we might just get kicked off this morning. Um, Facebook is giving, sending me lots of messages telling me this is my 50th live broadcast. So that's interesting, I didn't know that. All right, um, I might just check. I can't check the connection. Yeah, I'm not sure the connection's going very well. I'm gonna stop and start again. Oh. I know we've got people joining. Hi Alison, how are you going? Can you just let me know? Can you hear me okay? The connection, I'm not sure if the connection's working properly this morning. So I'll just give it another couple of moments and then I'll kick off. This seems to be, they're sending me lots of messages saying we're spreading the word, we're spreading the word, so I'm not sure if they're having trouble doing that. You hear everything okay, Alison? Yeah, the connection doesn't seem to be great. Oh well, I'm just gonna get started and then um, hopefully it works. Oh good, thank you Alison, thank you so much, sorry about that. All right, so I wanted to get simple, um, just get started this morning. As I said, today we're gonna talk about compliments and how to give and receive a compliment. And in the workplace, we generally call this acknowledgements because um, we like to do things a little bit different in the workplace. Um, and in this is something that I teach and I train in all of my leadership trainings. Thank you for the love. Um, in all of my leadership trainings, whether it's um, simply about you know like one-on-one -on -one leadership, or if it's my you know our mindfulness leadership course, um, you know, or even you know coaching for leaders. Being able to give a compliment and or an acknowledgement to your people, the people that you're around in the workplace is super, super important. And then obviously that converts to your life as well. Because um, what we do in one part of our life, we do it, it sort of resonates out to all other parts of our life. So I want to talk about this because it is actually a really big deal. It brings up a lot of stuff for people as well, which I always find interesting and why I love to talk about it because <laughs> it always it does quite often press people's buttons. So what's the big deal with this? Why should we bother? Well, all of us on some level like to be acknowledged for what we do. We, good morning, Natalie. Um, we like to, you know, we like to know we're doing a good job. We like to know that we're on track. We like to know that, you know, we are appreciated for the stuff that we do. Nobody wants to be taken advantage of or feel like, you know, people at work are taking the piss or in other parts of our life either. So giving an acknowledgement is a really genuine way, or I'll say give genuine acknowledgements on compliments, is a really great, great way of acknowledging the people that are around you for what they're doing and how they're doing it. So it is a really big deal. Thank you very much. Hi, Natalie. Nice to see you as well. I've got two Natalies on this morning. Um, so it is actually a big deal. And I know when I worked at American Express for years, many years ago, oh, sorry, I just threw everyone off there. Um, I, we used to actually have KPIs around giving acknowledgements and acknowledging others. And when I first started there, I thought it was kind of a bit of a weird thing, but um, it, it actually created a really great habit in me because I just used to systemize it of course because I like to be able to lightly systemize everything so every Friday if I I just have a question in my diary saying you know, who have you acknowledged this week and hi Adam and um, and so if I hadn't already actually formally officially acknowledge someone that week I would make sure that I would do it by the Friday every single week and it just created as I said a really great habit in me and what I also noticed is by starting to do this at work 
I started to have an awareness of where else I can do it in other areas of my life as well. So thank you for the love. So it is a big deal and I encourage you to do it wherever possible. Now, why I said it's an interesting topic because it actually brings a lot of stuff up for people. And it's about the stuff that comes up is quite often about the giving of the compliments or the acknowledgements and also the receiving. So um, one of the, the things we do, when I, as I said, when we do leadership trainings, we always talk about this and I always make sure that we get plenty of opportunities to give and receive an acknowledgement during each of the courses that we do. And it's interesting because the giving an acknowledgement can bring up stuff around people feeling like someone's going to think they're a bit weird. Um, you know, if they've never done it before, people are going to question, you know, their motivations behind it. These are the things that brings up, not what actually happens. Um, you know, so there's bits and pieces like that. People are quite often when they're giving acknowledgements, when it starts out, when they start doing it, you know, what are people going to think about me? Does it, does it seem dorky? Does it seem this? Does it seem that? And then of course, we're, as humans, we go and make up a heap of stuff about it. So, when we're giving compliments, um, what I encourage you to do is just let go of all the bullshit, basically. Um, come from the right intention, and when we're coming from the right intention, that I'm giving a genuine acknowledgement or compliment because I'd like to acknowledge this person for this great thing they did or for this little thing that they did. When we come from the right intention with that stuff, we don't get mis you know, things don't get misinterpreted. So just... Um, if you've got stuff coming up and fears coming up around it and you know telling yourself little self-doubt stories around oh I don't know if I should do this I don't know how the person will take it then just do it and just start practicing it and like everything when we build a muscle around this we'll get better we'll get more comfortable we'll strengthen it and then it'll just become a part of what you do like it was what I do what I did at MX and continued right through um, the other thing that it brings up is around receiving Acknowledgements. Now, obviously, they're two different things, but receiving an acknowledgement or a compliment is something that I find really fascinating because it can make people absolutely bloody squirm and be so excruciatingly uncomfortable. Now, I've got a person in my life that really finds compliments of any type, like really, really, like she absolutely repels it. Whenever you say anything from, you know, light stuff like, wow, you look great today, really physically pulls back and, you know, the whole face and, and everything. Um, and, and, you know, if you, you say something about, you know, congratulations on your new job or, you know, an award or whatever, it's that really uncomfort, really discomfort. Now... Obviously, there's a bit of self-worth stuff around that generally. Um, generally, there's a lot of self-worth stuff when we're uncomfortable receiving compliments. Maybe we don't think we deserve it. Maybe we've made up a heap of stuff about all of that. And maybe, probably, at some stage, you were also taught that you, you, you can't be too proud and you can't be, you know, too, you can't, you know, it's, you don't want it to show your ego too much. So that's why quite often a lot of people start to push back on compliments because you don't want to be seen as, you know, confident and owning your strengths do you because that would be like horrendous <laughs> um, so I know particularly um, as little girls we're quite often you know we get to that stage where you know we're given you know lots and lots of compliments and then we get to a stage where you've got to pull back on that you know because you don't want to be seen as being too over the top or too this or too that um, so a lot of that stuff stems from when we're kids um, but also what we've seen happen in the workplace um, as we grow and so on so it does bring up a lot of stuff it can be discomfort for people giving the compliments and a lot of discomfort for other people receiving a compliment um, but what I would like to say about that with either of those scenarios is just work on your delivery of giving or receiving because it's the more acknowledgements, the more thank yous, the more compliments we get out, genuine compliments we get out there in the world, it makes the world a better place. I mean, you think of when you get a genuine compliment for someone that you know that means it from their heart, how wonderful that feels. It really helps you sing, it helps you shine, it helps you do all of those things that we want to really bring up and blow up in our lives. When we don't accept a compliment or we push back on a compliment, we're actually, the person that's giving the compliment or the acknowledgement is actually less likely to give another one in the future to you or to somebody else. So basically, if you're the type of person that is quite externally motivated to do something, then 
when next time you get a compliment or an acknowledgement, an acknowledgement, don't necessarily think about what it will do for you because let's face it, it will do massive things for you if you allow it to and you just accept it gracefully. Um, however, think about it that if you push back on that, some that person that gave it to you is less likely to give you a compliment or anyone else a compliment in the future. So basically you're making the world a crappy place. So how's that for motivation? <laughs> All right. So how do you give an acknowledgement or a compliment? Well, it's a really simple three step process and look, just do it however you want. But for some people that like a process to start with, start with saying, I thank you. I acknowledge you I compliment you on something when actually speaking to a person and then acknowledge the quality, the internal quality that it was that they used in that situation and then how they can support or grow that in the future. So what I mean by that is, look, I really want to acknowledge you or I really want to thank you for being on this call this morning. I've got some people that come onto these calls every single day, um, you know, that are committed to learning and growing and taking things to the next level, doing it in a sustainable way. So I really want to acknowledge you for your consistency of being on these calls on these Facebook lives because it shows that you're committed to your own growth and taking things to the next level for you. That's a really long one. Um, but other ones you can do is you know, if somebody does something for you in the workplace, instead of just saying, great job, great job, because what in the hell does that mean? Um, I know a number of times I've worked on massive projects that lasted six months to 12 months and you'll have someone in an organization say, well done, you did a great job. And you're like, um, how does that help me moving forward? I mean, very general, tells me nothing, really. Uh, tells me nothing about what you noticed, tells me nothing about what I did well, tells me nothing about my growth areas, yeah? So dig down a little bit. When, you're, when somebody does something, or you see something, or you see a behavior or a quality that you really like and you think will help that person moving forward, then just simply acknowledge them or thank them for it. Really want to thank you for showing initiative this morning with, you know, following through on that such and such. Um, it really showed me that you can, you know, that you've got, you've got my back and you're supporting the team. Whatever. Just really, really simple. Um, so to start with, it's thanking or acknowledging. So I want to thank you or I want to acknowledge you or I want to compliment you. Yeah. Um, on the quality, make it an internal quality rather than something external because it's the internal qualities that we really grow, that are the things that really help us grow and develop. And then how it's going to, you know, what we'd like to see in the future or how they can grow it um, to get the results they want in the future. So that's all pretty much how you do it. And as I said, um, one of the things that comes up quite often with this, because I, when I have this conversation, I quite often do say, look, when... Um, quite often when I'm out with Marley, thank you for the love, quite often when I'm out with Marley over the years, people will come up to me and say, like give me really nice compliments about being a mum. And recently we were down, Marley and I went down the beach, just the two of us for a few days. And while we were down there, we were playing outside and we were staying at one of those Airbnbs. It was actually like attached to a person's house, like it was like a granny flat. Um, we would nev normally never stay in a place attached, but for this, because it was just the two of us, we did. Um, and so the, the lady that ran it, the granny that ran it was sort of, you know, around a bit, not like not with us, but just sort of around doing the gardening. And she came up to me at one stage and said, you know, when Marley was inside and she's like, I just, I've just been really watching you and the way you play with your son. It's really nice to see how you know, how you're engaging and, and how much you're playing together. It's really, really nice to see. Um, you know, you can tell that you're a great mum. And I said, oh, you know, thank you very much. Yes, I am. And I love it. Um, and it's really awesome. So that was it, you know. And, um, and I always find it interesting because when somebody compliments me on being a great mum, I totally own it because I know I am. And when I speak about that, it, particularly if I'm speaking about that in, a, in an audience of leaders, there's a bit of discomfort there about, well, what's the difference between owning a compliment and your strengths and, and things and where, like where does sort of ego fit in? Um, and you know what I say? You know, I totally own my strengths. Well, I'd, I'd like to rephrase that. Mostly, I own my strengths. <laughs> and I totally do around being a mum and lots of other areas in my life. If someone's going to give me a compliment, then I'm going to own that and I'm going to be loud and proud about it and say, yes, thank you, I am a great mum. And, you know, thanks for the compliment. So 
it's, it's really interesting to see how people react to that because there's probably some of you here on the live today that are going, oh, I could never do that, I could never do that. But remember what I said, you know, if we're accepting a compliment, it will, if we're not accepting a compliment and we're pushing back on that compliment, that person's, you're basically saying, you're wrong, what you just said was wrong. So that woman that gave me the compliment about being a great mum with Marley, she, you said to me, you're a great mum, I can see the way you're interacting. I said, no, you know, I'm not a great mum. I'm actually saying you're wrong. What you're saying is incorrect and it's not, it's right. I mean, I get it right all the time. I stuff it up all the time, but I'm still a great mum, you know, so why not own it? So I say, go out there, be loud and proud and own it when you receive a compliment because, um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading some of the comments. So thank you, Luann. Yes, thank you. Lovely to see you on. And Natalie says, a power to great mummers. <laughs> Have a great day. Um, and yeah, it's a great gift. It is. And giving and receiving a gift is a great, you know, or giving and receiving compliments and acknowledgements is really a great gift for everybody. Um, and it's something that I think is really important for us to get out there in the world as much as we possibly can. Because as you know, we said, if somebody somebody gives you a compliment or an acknowledgement, they're doing it because that's something that they have seen inside of you. So accept it, thank you. So the most basic way of receiving a compliment, you've got it, it's really, really complicated. When somebody gives you a compliment or acknowledgement, stand there, smile and say, thank you. That's the most simple way you can do it. And then you can just, you know, walk away. That's it, it can be as simple as that. Or you can have a conversation like I generally do because I like to really own my stuff. So there you go. Um, so get out there, own your compliments and also own your leadership, acknowledging yourself and others more and accepting acknowledgements from others is going to allow you to grow as a leader way more, um, grow as a person um, and send some extra sparkle out there in the world. So if you're interested in owning your leadership even more, and growing it even more. Um, I'm also running a workshop, uh, Rise and Thrive Core Confidence Workshop on the 7th of March. So I'll add the link below. We've had people registering already and we've still got a couple of early bird seats available. We're, we're doing those on numbers rather than time um, and they're running out. So get in quick so you can get a seat because I think the early bird saves you about 50 bucks. Um, so it's well worth it. And it's, um, it's all going to be about really growing your confidence, not I'm not going to stand up there and say, here's five ways to grow your confidence and this is what works for me. We're actually going to go through and work out um, ways of you being able to grow your confidence. Obviously, we'll share some stories and um, we, we generally have such a great group of women in the room that we have real conversations. Um, the, we have a networking part of it as well and it's just a really fantastic opportunity for a great bunch of women to get together because I work with professional women so that's who I attract. Get together, talk about core confidence, work out how you can grow yours really easily um, and then move forward to be able to get the results that you want. So get out there, totally own it today, um, own your compliments and give some compliments wherever you can. Spread the love and have a fabulous day. Speak to you soon.